Chef J, a boss for make some Irish mash, yard style, stay tuned. Brought peanut down down up on Buckland. Mm -hmm. Don't leave. Um, this is going to boil out with the sea moss. So you have the gum arabic, icing glass, and the linseed, which is similar to flaxseed, basically. Today, I'm actually going to help um, create this um, sea moss or Irish moss. Um, he's actually going to show us how to make it Jamaican style, but I'm helping him out in this process. Basically, I soaked the Irish moss. Um, or the sea moss, I'll just call it sea moss because that's what it is. I soaked it for actually a couple of days, but you really need to soak it um, overnight and then rinse off the excess salt like this, like what you see me doing right here. And I'm helping him out with this. He just got home from work not too long ago. Um, and so I'm just doing the preliminary process for him. All right, and then once you rinse it off, which I did, and it's soap, so a lot of the excess salt has already been removed from the soap, right? And you can pick out anything that looks weird, like this. You know, you might want to pick some of that stuff out, like some of these brown things. For the most part. Okay. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is um fill up a pot full of water. And this is like a big soup pot. And once this is at about halfway, you can put the, the sea moss in there. All right, so I just want to show you where we are in the process. So as you can see, I have this pot halfway filled up. Um, the sea moss is in the pot. Um, the fire is on high right now. And the goal is to have this boil out. And... Uh, <laughs> The sea moss tends to produce a lot of foam and it tends to want to boil out when you have the pot lid on tighten like this. So if you leave a little space like that, it won't, it won't boil over or it won't really boil over as much. So that's what we're going to do is keep it just like that. Um, and we're going to wait until it starts to boil and boil out okay so this is um, the ingredients that we're gonna put in the sea moss so you have the gum arabic icing glass and the linseed which is similar to flaxseed basically and um, this is gonna boil out with the sea moss Okay, so I'm pouring the gum arabic in there. It's very hard. It's like, it's like rocks. It looks like little rocks with sugar on them. That's what they look like. Let me see if I can take one out and show it to you. That's the gum arabic.
the icing glass, which I think is a form of seaweed, I was told. And then you have the linseed. And now I'm gonna stir this up. Just a little bit and I'm going to let this boil out completely and then we'll be back for part two. All right, so I just wanna give you guys a quick update of what the sea moss is looking like as it boils out. Um, and um, it actually, I had to pull the cover back even more because it started boiling over. Once again, it gets really foamy and that foam will boil over. And it actually did. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you can see the film down in there, but it almost caused my gas stove to go out. Like that's how bad it boiled over. And that, I wanted to, you can see the little film down in there. See that? It almost looks like glue. It boiled over a whole lot. Um, and so that's why it's important to keep the cover open. Um, keep it covered, but not all the way covered. And we like this technique just to retain um, some of the, the moisture, the nutrients and stuff like that. So um, this, is, this is probably a better way to have it boiling because even that little crack that I had, I had it like this initially and it boiled over completely still. So I'm thinking the best way to do it is to keep it maybe like a quarter, a quarter inch off and we'll see how that goes. That's so So it seems like it's almost boiled out. You don't see the sea moss. You don't really see signs of sea moss. See how it's much lighter, but most of it is kind of gone. It's like dissipating, dissipating, yeah. So um, it's not totally there yet. So I'm gonna put the cover back on and let it boil some more until we see the sea moss complete, completely boiled out, so. I'm gonna do it like that. All right, guys, I wanted to give you an update, okay, of what it's supposed to look like when it's boiled out. Um, it's not completely boiled out, but it's almost there. I'm gonna give it probably an additional, uh, maybe like 10 minutes. But um, you see, there's like a little tiny bit of seaweed left from that. And I'm gonna stir it one more time and check another area. You see how I'm getting little tiny pieces um, of seaweed, but not much. And like that stir didn't bring up anything. It's like little tiny pieces. So it's almost boiled out. This is the longest part of the process is boiling the seaweed out. See that? So um, I would say 15 minutes ago, the pieces were bigger. So now we're getting to that point. And I'm gonna give it another 10 to 15 minutes and see what, it, you know, uh, where we are with it. But I just wanted to give you a, I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like when it's boiled out. And as you can see, it looks like mostly liquid and you don't see any seaweed, apparent seaweed at least. So. All right, 
it. So it's pretty much boiled out. Like most of the seaweed is gone. Like majority of it. We're gonna blend this up anyway, so it should take care of like the little tiny endings of them. So now what you're gonna do is strain this off. And as you can see, I have my strainer, my fine strainer. So, and my bowl. So I'm gonna get some hot mitts. So as you can see, I'm straining it off. Those are all the mint seeds, or I call them flax seeds because they look just like flax seeds. Okay, so I scraped everything up from the pot into the strainer. And what I'm doing is moving the strainer around to get as much liquid as possible. Alright, so now as you can see, I got all of the, the remainder and all the excess juice out. I strained it out. So I'm going to put this over to the side. Alright, so I just want to show you what the strain product looks like. So once you strain it, see how it's nice and smooth consistency. You don't really see any lumps or any seaweed remnants in there. It's just nice and pretty much liquid-like. We're going to leave this to cool. Alright. And it's going to turn into a gel. And then um, we'll blend it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's now really a gel. Um, we added a little bit of rum, white rum to it to help preserve it because we're not gonna blend it up right away. Um, so um, we wanna keep it fresh. So um, even if you're gonna put it in the fridge, like it's still good to preserve it with a little, um, with the, with a little bit of the rum. So I put some oats in this container along with the Guinness Stout Beer. Traditionally, um, this was used to actually um, help people that had uh, issues with stamina. We're going to do it this way because we like to show the traditional way on how it was originally made. And I'm going to put this in here the whole bottle oh, and I'm going to yeah. let it soak. Hey. Oh, yeah. Most likely overnight. Hey. 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 Alright guys, so I'm back for yeah, part yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chef Junior is going to show you how he makes the original Jamaican style Irish moss. Stay tuned. All right, so we're doing more the Irish mash already. We put the uh, we put the rain in the room, but if we want to preserve it, oats, we put some oats to soak overnight. We have some, uh, we have some condensed milk, sweetening. We have some, uh, 
Tam som Nomnej, kto je Kokutinajt. Tam som Vanela, kto je Kokutinajt. A deň na mňa sa je Raw Peanut, kto je Kokutinajt. A bada gen no 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 big peanut with the with the salt a raw peanut we are needing. Alright. So we get started the first thing we're gonna do. I choose some uh, Irish mash or pre-boil. Get two scoop out of it. Turn our blender. We'll put three scoops of that tonight. Now Chef Junior. The icing glass and the gum arabic. What is that? Basically, I just from the earth, you know me I say all natural things, you know me I say. All right, Chef Junior. So after we Thank done, you. after we done, we soak, we soak it oats. We we'll put some oats in it right now. We soak it oats with some Guinness. Although this is Guinness, they are not original Guinness, you know. But we just work with what we have, see? Because I like Babylon with it. I we just work with what we have. Alright, the Guinness that we have to work with, so we just have to work with it. I put some scoop of the oats, or we put like Guinness to soak, and throw them right there you now. Put two scoops in them and save that for another mix. So that's how we do that now. Then, Put some raw peanut in there. You see me? I After that, now then, put some vanilla in there. I grate up some nutmeg in there right you now. Another Guinness? Not really say another Guinness, but you can see right you now this pea thickness. So you want to dilute it a little bit, you know, you don't want to make it too potent. You know what I'm saying? So you dilute him a little bit, you know. And you cover him up, you know what I'm saying? You cover him up and then power up. Hit him with the mini is ready eat a test and see what I deal with it look like it blend out but so in the that, say, is that the consistency it's supposed to be yeah okay. look thick enough to me but you know what I say but what I want to do I put it on and make it blend a little bit more okay. just because you know what I say you know what you know what I uh, drink it and uh, I swallow no 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 lumpy peanut, you know what I say? So just just blame it a little second more. Mm -hmm. Just see, you know what I say? Just to get to be fine. This is little Chef Junior. And he's blending it up. Helping getting it helping to get it more smooth. Yeah, yeah. He came and started blending it up himself. Oh, no. Look at that. Little Sleaking. Chef Junior. Little Chef Junior. Sleaking. He wants to join the fun. Get up. Good job. Good job. You ready to sample? I'll get to a spoon. Take him off. Open him up. 
and then I'll take a test run. I'll make camera girl tell me what she think. Taste it and say what you think. It tastes very good. It's nice. I like it. Alright, so Irish mash that peanut oats and all like goodies. Okay, Max, well, here we go. All food and refined. You ready to get the first taste? Oh, no. Do the first sample. Wait, taste it. Tell mommy what it tastes like. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Taste nice? Is it good? Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Alright. Alright. Tastes Thumbs nice. Up. Good for you. Get all your nutrients through your sea moss. Cheers to Jamaican Irish moss. Drop peanut on down the bomb buckler.